Say squat this bitch, squat, squat, squat. Ever go hard in this bitch like, hey, 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 hey. Say gang in this bitch, gang, 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 gang. gang. Ever go bang in this bitch like, hey, 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 hey. Say squat in this bitch, squat, squat, squat. Yo, yo, what up, world? Welcome back to another episode of UMG Presents the Blood Sport Report. I'm your host, Don Blazion, a.k.a. Mr. Blood Sport, but just call me Raw Dog. Yeah, man, but just here, man, with some thoughts, man, on the Smack Value Mate card. Uh, definitely had some good battles, man, but not the best Smack event, you know what I mean? Even though it took up most of the nigga Saturday and all that, you know what I mean? But I ain't mad at it either. We did get some good battles out of the card. So, uh, if I'm being honest, man, a couple other battles I don't even want to really recap. And all of these are off the first watch, you know what I'm saying, uh, except for um, Av vs. Dot. And I'll start there, but first let me say I didn't get to see Chilla Jones and Kid Chaos. Uh, I had some things I was doing, you know what I mean, running a little bit behind. So, I only saw, like, the end of Chilla Jones' third and then I was seeing fan votes and other things, saying Chilla got it. That's kind of who I predicted too. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing that joint. Um, Arsenal versus Loso. My my service was a little choppy with that one, man. So I didn't get to really see that one entirely. But from what I was seeing, man, Loso was doing work, and uh, I believe the fan votes are saying the same thing. They was giving it to Loso. Uh, based on what I did see, I was liking Loso performance more. All right, so then let's get into what I did see. Um, and I'll start with, all right, we'll start with JC versus Sirius Jones. All right, JC versus Sirius Jones, I really like that battle, man. Don't know if I would, uh, say it's a classic just yet, but, uh, I really like that battle. Um, Jones, to me, man, this year has really been, like I said, man, he's been capitalizing on every opportunity that, you know, he's been getting on URL. I heard him say in an interview, like, yo, he wasn't about to let JC in his career, and I like the fact that Jones is conscious of the fact that, like, you know, we already know the stigma of what's behind him or niggas be hating on him for whatever reason. So he don't have a lot of room to fuck up. So when he come in there, like, especially on them URL stages, bro, Jones been showing up and killing shit, bro. I love his performance against Swamp. I feel like he got that battle. And uh, I feel like he got this battle with JC. Um, I really like this second round. That was the closest round, but... I don't know, man. I, I feel like I didn't like JC using the map angle every round. Like, it was just a little bit too redundant for me. Because um, both of them had a very good second round. It, all rounds of the battle was good, really. But it come down to nitpicking little shit like that when a round is that good. Um, so, I would give Sirius Jones like a, a gentleman's 30, man, nobody. Um, and then let's go with B-Dot versus Ab. Uh, this is the only battle that I've watched over again um, for the second time. And if I'm being honest, man, it's just the VA bias. Um, you know, before, you know, shout out to my nigga F. Before I get on the camera and really like, that's why I'm not doing like a full recap. I'm mostly doing my thoughts. But that's what F or anybody, like before I get on the camera and say like a nigga lost, he got bodied or he won or whatever, bro. I really like to give it a fair, uh, a full watch. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I did. Watch this again. Um, I argue for, for Av's third round. Av's third round was the best uh, round uh, for him at, at his battle. I feel like he... It took him a little longer to start cooking up in that third. Um, I hope, you know, bro don't get mad at me for saying this in my opinion. Like, at first I gave Av the third. I was fighting for the third. But watching it again, I could kind of give B-Dot that third, man. Um, I would say, man, this might be... You know, and I would like to watch it again, but, you know, this is definitely, a, I feel like, a clearer battle for B-Dot, 2-1 uh, if not 30. Um, but not a body, though. Ab didn't get body, and Ab said something so important um, in an interview, or I think he was, like, on one of the caps in them live or something. And um, he said, like, when you perform um, at a certain level like he does and like certain battlers do, you're expected to always perform on a 10. Like, you know, especially when you get out there, or when you talk that shit, rather. You know, people expect you to perform on a certain level. I agree with that. And I also I also think it's a, a, a point of 
when you give a 10 performance, uh, most of the time, you can't slide past with an eight and a half, nine. You know what I mean? And I don't think Ed was horrible at all, bro. I feel like niggas is, is, cause you always see out of a scale of one to 10, Ed is always a 10, nine and a half, 10, if not an 11. 12 sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Ab go crazy sometimes. So when you see Ab at an eight and a half, you know what I mean? It looks like, oh shit, you know what I mean? It was a clear battle for B Dot, but everybody trying to paint it like a body and it was not a body. Ab was spitting. Ab had moments in every round, bro. So again, you know, if I'm being honest, bro, um, I, I'm giving it the, the B Dot man 2 1, if not 3 0. I can still argue that third for Ab, but I did like B Dot some material. Ab, B Dot had a crazy fucking third, too. And B-Dot was just a rare beat. I ain't say rare B-Dot, but he was just in, in rare form in a sense of where, bro, it would have been hard for anybody to stand against him. So, not a bad loss, uh, I feel like, with Av, bro. Not at all. I don't feel like it's a bad loss. Um, but it just was like a clearer loss. You know what I'm saying? One of these clearer losses. So, uh, shout out to B-Dot, man. B-Dot is one of my favorites. You know what I mean? Av is too. That's the homie. That's the bro. Um, next, let's go to... DNA versus King Los. With this battle, now, this is probably, um, in my opinion, other than like JC versus Sirius Jones, I want to say it was battle of the night, but DNA versus King Los could arguably be, arguably be battle of the night as well. Um, with that battle, I, I really would like to watch it again before I give like an official, official opinion and recap. Um, but this is still off the first watch, man. If I on, on the first watch shit, man, I'm going with King Los, bro. Uh DNA was on fire every round. He had some, you know, moments. Um DNA to me, man, and I, I hope it don't sound like I, I don't like DNA or I'm a DNA hater or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't trying to sound like I'm slandering the uh the brother, but DNA to me, man, is just like he's like Arsenal in a sense of man. If, it's like if you heard of one or two of his battles, man, you heard them all. And one of DNA's biggest, like, flaws, in my opinion, is that, like, a lot of his rhymes aren't really... It don't sound conversational to me. It sounds like a build-up for the punch. Like, it sounds so robotic in a sense, or it's just... You know what I mean? It's, it's so... None of it sounds conversational. Like, some of the shit he says to set up to a punch, man, is not shit that he would say in a real-life conversation in real life. That's one thing, like, it kind of I nitpick with DNA. Um, well, I'm not, like, the biggest fan of DNA, but I, I never take away from what DNA has brought to this culture. DNA is a fucking uh, grade A, man, class A fucking battle rapper all the way around. Like, he's one of the best who ever did it. Um, but... King Los, man, was on one. Uh, King Los has proven to really, like, be finding his niche in his, in his battle rap theme. And uh, really was impressed with his daylight performance. And uh, this was just as impressive, man. Uh, I want to say, okay, definitely, man, on the first watch, I'm giving the battle to King Los. 2-1, if not 3-0. Um, this was a card with, like, you know... Couple three O's, man, but no bodies for real. No, no serious bodies, man, which is a good thing too. Uh, so DNA versus King Los, man. I'm going with King Los two one, if not three O. Uh, then we got A Bird versus Head Ice. Um, so I predicted Head Ice to win this battle only because I thought that he would uh do more with this opportunity. I felt like he just wanted it more than what he kind of showed. Uh, ice was ice, but just a little bit more, I think, in my opinion, even more cryptic than usual. Uh, ice got his own style, man. He got his own shit, you know what I'm saying? That ice, that flavor, he talk his own lingo. Um, it seems like a little bit more cryptic than usual. So that might have lost, I know it was losing me at points, man. I can normally, like, follow ice. Like, I, I fuck with the wolf, man. Shout out to the wolf, bro. Wolf love, um. A verb, like I said, is one of my favorite of all times, and this wasn't that classic, classic A verb, the old verb, uh, but this is the best verb I've seen in a long time. Uh, like I said, I think A verb has just evolved, man. He's just a a a A A one A plus just wordsmith, bro. Like uh, all the way around, man. Especially on the beat or just you know the way he put words together, bro. And I think he kind of I, I was feeling like at one time that he may have outgrown battle rap, but. He could definitely still do it. This battle show, A-Verb can still do it. Um, 
I would say a verb. Probably, bro, based on the first watch, I'm gonna give it the a verb 3-0. Uh, not a body. Um, it was a the better verb that we've seen in a long time. Uh, versus, not the best. You know, head ice. You know, especially not for for this setting. So, um, you know, that's just my thoughts, man, on Volume Eight. Overall, dope event. Uh, definitely looking forward to the next URL event, uh, the traffic event. Um, I'm also, man, I, I, they said like December 18th, bro. I'm waiting to see JC and Averb. I want Averb to bring that same Averb, uh, that he brought tonight, you know, uh, kind of polish it up a little bit and, and continue to revert back to that old verb too. Cause I felt like it was at points, man, he was in that old verb bag too. You feel what I'm saying? So bring a little bit of that old verb back. Keep doing what you're doing on me. I still... Bro, I'm always gonna tune into an A verb battle. I don't care. I need to lose ten battles straight, bro. I'm gonna just fucking still tune in. I'm always be excited to see Verb do his thing, bro. Uh, like I said, man, Verb was very influential into um, why I'm into battle rap and me starting the league and all of that shit. You know, just a fan of that whole movement. So shout out to Verb. Shout out to everybody that was on the card for real, man. Um, yeah, man. Again, can't wait to traffic four. Can't wait to see the next URL event. Can't wait to see JC and A Verb, man. Uh, you know what I mean? Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel if y'all haven't already, man. It's a plus. Say squat this bitch. Squat, squat, squat. And we go hard as bitch like.